So the Jamaat al ulama South Africa and the Islamic Care Line, who have been serving the social needs of the community, more specifically in Johannesburg, but of course not only confined to Johannesburg, we take pride in announcing the launch of the program on this program. And of course this program is also at a time uh, which is when there is a growth and there is a spike with regard to gender-based violence within South African communities of which the Muslim community is also part of that communities and also uh, part of this whole situation. And there is no level of society which is free from gender-based violence. And this go across religious backgrounds and go across ethnic and race and it is something that is not only within any specific community, it is across all types of communities. And therefore the need for us to make our voices as part of the greater South African voice in speaking against gender-based violence. We hope and inshallah that the joint Jamaat al-Ulama and uh, the Islamic care line uh, gender-based violence campaign will reach out to those members of the community and other service providers in terms of support and development through various initiatives, we intend to capacitate the community and the community service structures in terms of psychosocial assistance and delivery, inshallah. And the campaign, we hope, will be a holistic type of campaign, having various types of interventions that will be implemented on the individual, family, community, and societal level. And part of the campaign is to encourage ownership and responsibility for personal safety and preservation upscaling and enhancing existing psychosocial and other support services to ensure that there is holistic healing with regard to uh, survivors and those who are in this type of relationship, empower and mobilize the community to effectively address uh, gender-based violence. Gender-based violence is not only a public health issue or an Islamic issue or any religious-based issue. It is a human rights issue. It doesn't only affect individuals, but it has an impact on families and communities both in the long term and in the short term. So I'm speaking about 11 years ago up till this very day, that if I told you that who is standing in front of you today has experienced this violence and abuse, the victims and the survivors of the abuse, you are your own hero. And unless you do not stand up and come forward and tell us what happened to you, raise your voice, no one's going to be able to be there for you ever. So today, subhanAllah, we're seeing a marriage of the Islamic Kela and the Jamiatul Ulama. We're seeing experts, lawyers, attorneys standing up and saying, come forward. We are here to help you. We are offering help. What if I told you that there was a time where my ear was ripped off to the degree that I couldn't walk. I lost balance in my legs. And I'm standing here today in front of you telling you, you need to come forward. The Jamiat, the Islamic care line, all, nobody's going to come to you. You've got to come forward.